Hello everyone and welcome to the Momentum Lab channel. This is Geeta here and in this week's video, I bring to you the top 5 factor-based small cases for the month of December 2024. So up until now, we have been discussing momentum-based small cases and we tried to list the top 5. In fact, just in the last month for the November edition, we have included all the other factors as well for all the small cases and then we are trying to uh, see how what are the top five small cases across all of the different factors that are available. Now, just briefly to touch upon why we need this analysis. So unlike mutual funds and ETFs, which have ready tools where you can compare one uh, mutual fund and the other mutual fund and figure out which one is good for you based on either returns or risks, etc. There is no ready reckoner tool for small cases. So we have to conduct a manual analysis and then find out which small case is performing how and, you know, uh, choose which one is best for us. But uh, there might be a question that uh, for in, in small cases in the website, there is a particular uh, mention of a CAGR that is uh, given next to the small case. So can we not compare one CAGR to the other of a particular small case and find out which one is better and which one should you be taking. So there is a little bit more nuance over here than just um, merely comparing the listed three-year CAGR because sometimes the actual listed CAGR may not, uh, the listed CAGR may not be the same as the actual returns. That is because there are some costs involved just like expense ratios for mutual funds. There are also costs for running small cases and all of that cost will add up when you calculate net returns. So um, I just went to the discover button over here and I'm randomly choosing the first available manager and I'm looking at a small case over here which is at least run for three years because the listed number over here is for three years CAGR and I'd like to compare it with the net returns for three years as well. So how do you find out what are the net returns? Um, net returns firstly is nothing but what are the returns that you get after deducting all of the costs, right? So when you go down a particular uh, page in the small case, you will find that there is a there is a button where you can look at costs and returns. So these are cost adjusted returns. Now let me see for three year period, what are the cost adjusted returns? So for a three-year period, I can see that the cost adjust adjusted returns is 17.13. But if I look over here, it is 27.28. So why this difference? In fact, a lot of parameters play a role to, un to understand, you know, what this difference is. So over here, we are looking just at the minimum amount that needs to be invested. In fact, if I change this amount and increase it to 10 lakhs, then I will see that my return is 25.29, which is very close to the 27.28 mark. In fact, when I change the time period and put it to maximum, so when you look at the maximum time period, it is a little more than the three, three year time period of net returns, which is 26.27. And uh, basically what happens is the net, the returns of a small case are influenced by few factors, few key factors. One is the time period of which it is invested and this and the second one is the amount in which you invest now why does the amount in which you invest uh, matter that is because there are some fixed costs and some variable costs like you will see that there is a particular subscription cost and there is some transaction cost associated with buying and selling of uh, different stocks as part of a small case so you will see that your subscription fees remains the same even if you put the bare minimum or if you go ahead and increase the amount to much more higher amounts. So the amount that is put aside to be actually invested after subtract, subtracting the fixed costs such as subscription fee will largely matter the kind of return you will take home. And of course, transaction charges are directly in proportion to the kind of transactions that are made, exits and additions. So these fixed costs and uh, variable costs actually affect the kind of returns that you will see. That is not, let me iterate again, that that is not to say that this listed amount, is this listed percentage of return is wrong. It is different when calculated for net of costs and for different time periods and amounts. So essentially there are a few steps when you're trying to understand what exactly is the return for a particular small case. And therefore we went ahead and have done that exercise for you 
for different small cases across different factors. However, what we have done is that we've selected a list of strategies or small cases based on different factors. So the factors being alpha, low volatility, momentum, value, quality, and some in some cases we also found multi-factor strategies. So after selecting all of these and listing them down, we have essentially listed those small cases which have run at least for three years. So why we have done this is that, uh, like I keep iterating, there is a stabilization of returns that happens when we be when 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 we are invested in the market for at least three years. So while five years is the best time period, the number of small cases available for us to compare, uh, which have been running for five years or more, is very minimal. So when we take three years, which is still a good stability in terms of time, we have sufficient substantial number of small cases which we can compare. Now, having said that, and that being the first step, the next is comparison to benchmarks. We have done two comparison, two benchmark comparisons. The first one is a comparison of comparison with nifty 50 so we have calculated the kagar for three years for nifty 50 using the nippon nifty b's nifty b's etf after calculating the same we have looked at which are all those small cases which were able to beat the nifty 50 kagar in fact at this point we are just simply looking at the direct returns that have been listed and not net of expenses so in the next benchmark comparison we have selected one index one index for each factor preferably a 200 index with 30 30 stocks uh, for what i mean is for alpha we have selected nifty 200 alpha 30 for volatility we had nifty 100 low volatility 30 for momentum we looked at nifty 200 momentum 30 so essentially we looked at a nifty 200 universe with a 30 index of stocks such was the index that was selected as benchmark for every factor. Then we compared these three-year returns of the small cases with the three-year CAGR of the factor and eliminated the ones that did not perform better than the factor-based benchmark. So we picked only those small cases which outperformed the three-year CAGR of their respective factor-based benchmark. After doing this, we calculated a three-year CAGR for the small cases, net of expenses for 10 lakh rupees, and then created a master list. Let me show you the master list and show you how we have calculated the same. Now, this is a list wherein we have, th this is a list for momentum, where we have listed all of the small cases which are there in um this particular factor after doing this the first benchmark that we have listed is the nifty 50 which has a three-year CAGR of 12.10 now any small case which did not meet this 12.10 category has been marked in red next is where we took the particular factor benchmark and looked at the three-year CAGR and any small case that has not met this criteria has been marked in light yellow we have done this across all of the categories for quality value momentum, multi-factor, low volatility, and alpha. Next is a summary sheet, where I have, which is a master sheet where I have listed all of these uh, factor-based small cases. Over here, what we have done is, we have calculated the, we have included the calculation of three-year net of expenses CAGR for 10 lakhs as well. Now, after calculating this, we compared the benchmark, the factor-based benchmark again to the small cases three-year CAGR net of expenses for 10 lakh. The small cases that are listed in gray over here are the small cases whose three-year net of expenses CAGR for 10, la 10 lakhs did not beat the factor-based benchmark. So this is a third level of filtration where we have tried to see for the net of expenses category as well. So now you will see that many small cases have not been able to beat the factor-based benchmarks when net of expenses with 10 lakhs. After marking all of these, I have listed in one place all those small cases which are running for more than three years, which have uh, beaten the nifty 50 three-year CAGR, which have beaten the a particular factor-based benchmark CAGR, also for the category of three-year CAGR net of expenses. I have put all of those small cases over here and listed them based on each of the factor. 
and then conducted a very simple sort. So first sort that I have done is just based on the three-year CAGR. So whichever small cases have had the highest three-year CAGR net of expenses for 10 lakhs, I have put down the top small case in each factor. Because if I just look at the top five, then sometimes only one factor would seem to dominate. In case you want to look at it that way as well, you can go ahead and look at it. The sheet is accessible in the free tools folder, which will be listed in the description. So this is the final list of top five small cases in each of the factors. One is based on CAGR net of expenses and the other is simply based on the sharp ratio or the risk to reward ratio. So for the CAGR net of expenses, we have the first is a value and we have Omni Bharat Defense in that small case, which has a 78.52% three-year CAGR net of expenses with a sharp ratio of 3.36. The second one is quality, uh, again by Omnisense Capital. It's an Omni Capital enablers. And the return is 31.82% with 2.58 as the sharp ratio. Momentum stands at third with weekend investing MI Evergreen and 28.51% three-year CAGR and 2.58 sharp ratio. The fourth one is Alpha, is managed by Ambarish Baliga, Underdogs 2 Will Shine Series 1, 25.53% three-year CAGR net of expenses and 2.65% sharp ratio. The last is low volatility with Estee as the manager, Gula Gare 6, 24.74% with 2.64% sharp ratio. Now, when we come to a sorting, sorting all of these small cases based on the sharp ratio, the arrangement of the factors changes a little bit. So even for the sharp ratio, value is first, but for the sharp ratio, alpha replaces quality, quality comes at the third. Low volatility, which was fifth for CAGR, now takes the fourth rank and momentum falls from three to five. So this, the same small cases which have been represented for CAGR net of expenses are also represented here itself. But just the order has changed because we have now prioritized the sharp ratio. So highest to lowest sharp ratio has been prioritized. So this has been the top five small cases, factor-based small cases for the month of December 2024. We'll also be presenting the, for the month of January in the next month. Thank you for joining us and see you in the next video.